friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about how to stay healthy on vacation. All right, welcome guys. As you can tell, we're at Disney. We're celebrating Thanksgiving at Disney World. And I was talking to one of the girls who was considering joining one of my um, upcoming challenges and she said, I don't wanna join you until after Thanksgiving because I don't wanna fail. And that just got me thinking, how many of you are putting off your health and fitness to the new year because you don't want to fail? Because you're thinking of all these holidays coming up and really what switched for me on this health and fitness journey was that it's all about mindset and shifting your mentality to I still can have a treat, but I'm going to make healthy choices most of the time and not just throw it all out. And so that way you can't fail. It's not like once you have a treat, you've made a bad decision and you've spiraled out of control. So I want to share with you some of the tips that I've learned. We are avid Disney goers, avid vacationers. And I remember when I made that switch in December of last year and I said, all right, I'm gonna go all in on my health and fitness journey and I'm gonna see how many women wanna go along and do this with me. And I decided to, and then I knew a Disney trip was coming up in February, just a couple months later. And I was really nervous because I didn't wanna undo the progress I had made. And I didn't know how to figure out how to have fun on vacation, and feel like, okay, well, we paid a lot of money to do this. I should just enjoy it. I deserve it. But then also that mentality of, I wanna live a healthy, long life, and I wanna feel strong and have energy and be available for my family. How do I balance the two? Because for so long, what I used to do was, I'll be healthy, I'll eat salads, I'll do good, and then a vacation comes and I would spiral out of control. Is that you? Have you done that? Have you spiraled out of control where it's just been a free for all? And then it's so hard to get back. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've learned along the way to make um, this lifestyle work. So I'm having the treats this week and I'm not saying no to them, but I'm not having the whole treat. And I'll give you an example. We went to the Grand Floridian and they have their gingerbread house up. They've been doing this since 1999, which is crazy. I can't believe it's been that long. And they build a massive gingerbread house you can go visit and it's built out of gingerbread. And they sell gingerbread and you can buy shingles. And we were in line and I had a decision to make. Was I gonna get a treat or not? And my family was all gonna get a treat. And then I thought to myself, do I need the whole treat? Or would having a bite or two of someone's gingerbread be enough to still feel like I would had the experience but didn't have to have the whole thing? And that's what it was. I went and someone got a gingerbread shingle. You can buy a shingle from the house, not a used one off the, the house. They, they make them and dip them in chocolate. And I had literally two bites of one and that was enough for me to still enjoy it, but not eat the whole treat because I wanted to have another treat later and not have a spiral. So that's one of the things that I've done. The second thing is, is when we can, we try to stay in a condo. And so over on the vlog channel, um, I'm sharing a tour of where we're staying this time. We're staying at Westgate, and this condo is amazing and very affordable compared to trying to stay on Disney at a condo. And what I love about staying at a condo is not only does it have a fridge, but it has a blender, a toaster, a microwave, an oven, and all the dishes. So I don't have to eat all theme park food all the time, all day. And so what we did is our very first day, we traveled and we got here, we headed to Trader Joe's. And those of you guys who know me know I love Trader Joe's and we don't have one near us. So I loaded up on my favorite food. So let me show you a few. So I'm gonna share with you some healthy options I can have on hand. So I know when I'm going to the parks, I'm gonna be eating fun stuff. But when I come back here, I got my favorite hummus from Trader Joe's and then I got some broccoli. And I know that doesn't sound fun for vacation, but if I'm having healthy food back here and then I'm eating fun food out there, it kind of balances out instead of just having the fun food all the time. I also grabbed a pre-packaged salad so I don't have to buy a container of dressing and get the salad and mix it in a bowl. I've got one, this is a great serving. I'm gonna have this for lunch today. And then when we go to Magic Kingdom tonight, I can have a veggie burger or a Mickey pretzel or something. Um, also, I grabbed some fresh fruit. So my kids are down at the pool right now we grabbed some fresh raspberries. I got some cotton candy grapes that'll be really fun. We got some um, toast 
and I got some natural peanut butter that doesn't have anything extra added to it besides peanuts and salt. Freeze-dried strawberries are great for snacking in the park. We got some oatmeal for the mornings. I always find we don't drink enough water on vacation, so I made sure to bring a case of water. I add my pre-workout to this in the morning, and so I can drink this before I go. I can take one with me to the parks and refill it. The other thing we brought from home was Zevia. So I used to be an avid soda drinker, loved it, and Zevia is Stevia sweetened soda. So I still get the bubbles, it still feels like Coke, or this one's like Dr. Pepper, it's called Dr. Zevia, but it's not. And um, I take one of these in the car and then I have it before we get to the park or whatever. Um, the other thing is, is I bring my superfood shake. So this is loaded with nutrients, dense nutrition, and I just mix this with some frozen berries I have in the freezer here, blend it up and I have breakfast before we're getting to a park. The other thing I've been doing, and I have been extremely consistent with, and you may think it sounds crazy, but I've been consistent with my workouts. And if you follow my stories over on Instagram, I'm sharing my journey to hopefully inspire and encourage you that you can do it too. And with the space of the condo, it's not like I'm on top of everybody. So the kids have a room, I'm over here in the living room, and I've been streaming my workouts from my computer. Now, if you can't bring a computer with you on vacation, you can actually do it from your phone too. And so here are some of the things that I brought with me. So if your um, hotel has a gym, you can totally stream your workouts from there and use their equipment and not have to bring anything with you. Our hotel has a gym. I just find it so convenient to work out here. I put on my workout clothes, I make my pre-workout, I come over here and then I just push play and in 30 minutes I'm done. I get dressed and we head off to the parks. And so I'm only having to get up like 40 minutes before my family to get it in and done. And here's what I brought. I actually got this um, fold up yoga mat from my FabFitFun unboxing. I think I have a coupon code. If I do, I'll leave it down below. I've been obsessed with these FabFitFun boxes. They only come once a season. And when they do, the products in are so high end and so nice and I've loved so many of them. They've really become part of like my routine. Like I love it. So this travel mat has gone with me twice now and it actually folds up pretty flat. I've been using it so it hasn't, <laughs> it's kind of fluffy now, but it folds up pretty flat so it lays in my suitcase. The other thing I bought um, was a band. So I brought this because it weighs nothing and I wanted to do my workouts. And the program I'm in the middle of right now is weightlifting and then some cardio and some abs. So I figured I would do this for the weights, but then last minute, because we're driving and not flying to Disney this trip, um, I brought a set of eight pound dumbbell bells. And if I wanted to challenge myself, I could go down to the gym and do different ones, but I figured this way I'm still getting it in and I'm still getting it done and I can get it done faster here and probably more challenging than the band. So that's what I did there. And the last thing to help me stay accountable and to really stay healthy while on vacation is having my girl squad and knowing they're pushing play and having a group of women that are part of this with me. We're all part of the same Rise Up Nation where we're encouraging each other to be our best selves. Knowing that they're showing up every day encourages me too as well. And so I just, I love that community of women and that's really made the difference for me. So if you're doing it alone and you know that nobody's expecting you to show up today or going to the gym and nobody cares if you show up, that's the difference between having a girl squad and not because it really encourages me to go that extra mile because I know they are too. And so doing it together, it just makes it way more <laughs> effective because we're all showing up. And then lastly is getting my workout in first. So this morning we went to Disney Studios, had the best time, but if I had not worked out first, I don't know if I would be now. I'm pretty tired and I'm trying to rest before we go to Magic Kingdom tonight. And I know it's gonna be a lot of walking. So getting in that workout first, making sure I'm limiting the treats, really figuring out, is it worth it? Do I really want to eat this? And then do I need the whole thing or can I share it with somebody? That's been part of it. And then having healthy options on hand. I don't know where you're going on vacation, but if you're at Disney, they have a lot of healthy options. And then just thinking through those because treats are fun and you are on vacation, so it's part of it, but just not going crazy. So there's, it's all about a balance. And I feel like if you have that mentality of going in that it's about a balance, you can't fail. You really can't. And if you need help along the way, I would totally walk with you. Just let me know in the comment section below and I could send you more info on our girl squad. We just really love it and have a great time. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.